y'all. Look at freaking Miami. Hey guys, it's your girl Jennifer Danielle and welcome to the Carnival Celebration Vlogs. We begin this series in Memphis because I was with my family in my hometown. And so from there, I went to Atlanta where I had about three hours to pack my bags and hop on the next flight to Miami, which is where this vlog begins. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not and let's get into this solo travel series. It's been quite the day. Guess what? I am at Atlanta Airport and headed to Miami. I have made it. I had to wake up at four this morning to leave Memphis, come to Atlanta where I had about three hours to pack everything and got my bags packed, got them checked, and I am getting ready to board the flight. It is celebration time. Let's go. I thought the most difficult part of the day would be hopping on two different flights and waking up at 4 a.m. But nothing could have prepared me for what happened once I got to Miami. I have never had this happen to me before. Y'all, look at freaking Miami. So that is my hotel behind that car. But look at that flooding. There are cars all out here. This is insane. So I was so excited about staying at our new hotel because I stayed at the Gabriel Miami downtown and wanted to give you guys a serious tour but that did not happen. I had to walk through that flood water and everything was soaked on me including my bags and so it was just a complete disaster but I made the most of it and then decided to get something to eat on site. Getting started, we're getting us some wine because y'all saw what I had to voyage through to get here. So um, I swam over, made it in, and I'm just ready to get on the ship. I mean, they literally could just pull the ship up to the door at this point. So. The Gabriel restaurant located downstairs in their lobby is this super chic, beautiful, lounge-like restaurant. And let me tell you guys, they had the best wrap I have ever had in my life. So I highly recommend eating here if you stay on site at this hotel. Since I was a little bummed about the weather and not sure what would happen the next day with the flooding, I decided to go ahead and go to bed. But once I woke up, everything was clear, so it turned out perfectly. On this vlog series, you all are going to meet my girl Gabby, who has been one of my friends forever. So we ironically met in a B2K chat room back before it was cool to meet people online, and we have been friends ever since. So she decided to hop on this solo trip with me, get her own room, and do her own first solo trip. So you guys will see her in some of the footage. So let's get into this hotel. So this time I stayed at the Gabriel Hotel, which is located in downtown Miami, and it was so convenient to the cruise port. I'm talking about it had to be less than a 10 minute ride to the port from this hotel. Now it is on the pricier end, so note that, but the views are amazing. Hey right, guys, so this is the balcony that is here in my hotel at the Gabriel, and this is the view that you have. Isn't that amazing? And look right there, it's the ship! There is the celebration, which I will be boarding in a couple of hours. But you have all of these views right by the highway. Super noisy though, so I will say that, but definitely an awesome balcony. First you have the little table and chairs, but let me show you guys everything. The room design was super chic and had like this really contemporary design. There was tons of lighting and it was just good vibes. Let's venture out to one of my favorite areas of this hotel, which I wasn't able to enjoy because of the weather, but the pool and bar area outside. You guys, like this is such a vibe being able to sit out here at this pool. And not only is there this main pool in the center, but look at this. There's also another pool that is along the side, which is like an infinity pool. Love it. They also have a nice gym on site with Peloton bikes. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about Peloton. But they had every bit of exercise equipment you would need for an extended stay. All right guys, so this is 10.30 boarding. The maze is a bit of a cluster, but not a bad boarding process so far. Um, I've already had my passport and boarding pass checked. Um, of course, it's a lot faster process when you have that, but I'm just waiting on Gabby and we are going up the escalator. Yeah. Nobody welcomes you on board like Carnival Cruise Line and the celebration started off just as that. 
One of the great things about this sailing was that the rooms were actually ready once you boarded the ship. And so I was able to drop off my carry on and then head to my muster station, which was in the Punchliner Comedy Club. After that, it was time for my annual guy's burger. That is like my first meal tradition. I have to have a guy's burger. And there was so much good food on this cruise. This was the only guy's burger I got. So I'm glad I made it my first stop. After eating, it was time to head over to the Red Frog Bar for the Melanin at Sea meetup. And I saw some familiar friends that you guys have seen on other cruises with me. And this was one of my favorite moments of the cruise and it felt like a genuine family reunion running into everybody. So cool. I tried to make Sid commit to doing something crazy on this cruise, but she was not having it. <laughs> the party continued and I met a lot of vloggers that I've been watching on YouTube for the past year. Nobody does sell away like carnival and so of course we had to do the wobble and do all of the classic line dances that you've come to know and love at a carnival cruise line sell away. forget the cupid shuffle which I tried to do while holding the camera which wasn't very effective <laughs> You guys, it's the growth for me. Last year, I would have never met someone on a ship and just randomly started dancing with them. <laughs> I will party with you, so hit me up. And we are officially off. Welcome to Thanksgiving Cruise 2022. We are in motion. The pilot is leading us on our way. And we are headed for a sea day tomorrow. And then we'll be in Grand Turk on Wednesday. Get started. Thanks for watching. That's it for episode one. See you guys back for episode two on Thursday.